Hi Pat, thank you for joining us today. Hi Zoe, um, how are you? Hi, uh, yeah, good, thank you. What I want to talk about really is um, what it's like to be involved in the IT Service Excellence Awards. Um, because if for anyone who doesn't know, um, Patrick is the Chief Evangelist for Hornbill Systems, who obviously won our um, 2012 Supplier of the Year Award. So if you can just sort of tell us a little bit about what was involved and, and how it's been for you guys after winning, um, and sort of give people an idea of what it's all about. Um, so if we start with why Hornbill actually entered and so what, what was the motivation behind getting involved? Uh, we wanted to win. <laughs> I suppose that's too glib an answer, but... Uh... <laughs> No, no it's, the reason for doing it is um, it's good for us as a business overall because we believe we're doing, uh, we're not getting everything right, but we believe we're getting a lot of things right. And yeah. um, a lot of people within our organization that are supporting customers don't necessarily get to see the front end of that support and don't get to see how their efforts contribute to, um, to keeping the customer happy. So it is quite nice to give them yeah, some recognition and basically have the industry recognize that we're actually getting some things right and we're doing some good stuff for our customers. So it's good for them, but also I think it's good for our customers as well. Uh, they at least know that, you know, while we may not be perfect in every respect, um, we do get some things right. And um, it, it, it's a good accolade, it's a great accolade to have. And of course, we have won it before. So there was real appeal in us actually entering for that reason alone. Yeah. Okay, and uh, I mean, my next question was going to be about customers, really. Like, how do you kind of get them involved and, and encourage them to nominate? Or Yeah, okay. Um, I, I think all that we did, really, we got this uh, community. Uh, so we, we, we use our own technology to actually post to people and stuff like that. So what we did is basically rallied a bit of support through the community and said to customers, look, we're entering this thing. If you think we're doing a decent job, please support us. And... Uh, they came out in their droves and supported us, so that was, uh, you know, fantastic. Yeah, exactly, and they obviously said some really, um, some pretty, you know, strong, uh, high recommendations of you. So what do you think it is about Hornbill that encourages that kind of level of advocacy in, in customers? Um, I, I would say probably the main reason. We, we have won this in the past, and, and it was important, and a lot of the time when we won it in the past, it is because of the good things that our customers say about us. Yeah. I think this time round that we've shifted focus and we think that's still important but what's even more important is for us to focus on having their customers say good things about them. So during 2011 and into 2012 we ran this thing called let's make it happen, let's make IT happen and yeah. the whole kind of premise behind that was you can give your software processes and all of this to you know, hundreds of different companies and you'll get polar opposites with some of the results. So some people struggle to get results, and what we did is we, we, we've done sterling jobs at some of the customers, and they've delivered just, just some awesome results. And what we did is we showcased those customers. We posted, this is how they did it, have a chat with them, get support, rely on us, and we, we encouraged other customers to make it happen. And I think at the end of the day, if you're selling a piece of software, that's one thing, but it's not the tool that people buy, it's the relationship. And they're doing that because they've got problems, they want you to help them solve them. And I think that's why they came up in their droves to, to help us, because we're helping them make it happen. And what about Hornbill? I mean, what about you and your team? What did winning the award mean for you guys? Obviously, as you say, you've won it before, but how, how sort of important is that to you? Well, it's very important. As I said before, it, it's great. It's a great accolade for the team themselves. You know, we think we're doing the right thing most of the time. Um, but to have someone like SDI who really, they're focusing on excellence, come out and say, you know what, you actually did a really good job and, and the submission was great and what your customer said about you was great, that's fantastic for us. Um, of course, like I said, most people, when they're buying technology, technology is only a piece, it's the relationship that they're buying. And that's what we try to focus on, building that relationship with customers, help them overcome some of their issues and get them noticed, make them show that we're delivering value. And if we, if we can prove that we're doing that, then that's good for us, it's good for our staff, it's good for our customers, and good for our positioning in the industry overall. Yeah, well, that was what I was going to ask, actually, about sort of industry um, peers and perception, really. Um, I, I guess, in a way, it's about being visibly, you know, part of, of the communities and all these kind of different um, organisations and um, concepts that are going on. And I guess awards are part of that, really, sort of being involved and being visible. Well, there was a time, and unfortunately or unfortunately, whatever you want to put, I'm old enough to remember it, when basically your marketing 
uh, said a lot about you. And it was difficult. People would take up customer references and do things like that. And of course, no vendor is going to give a bad customer reference to someone who's looking to buy their software. But I, I think the thing is, those days are a lot, well and truly over. These days, your service, if it stinks, you can say what you like in your marketing messages, people are going to know. This, it, it's a service society. There's too many ways through social channels or whatever for people to broadcast what you're all about. So things like crowdsourcing, that th these things make a big, big difference. And if you actually back up what your messaging says, you can say, look, we put customers first. But if you can back that up, with awards, with being top of crowdsourcing list, then that does make a difference. And it proves that actually these guys do what they say they do. Okay, so I mean, looking back then to when you actually, um, when well and afterwards you kind of get back to work, get back to the office, how did you guys celebrate and what was the next thing that you kind of looked look to do to build on that and to kind of take it all forward again? Well, I, I think let's start with the what we did to celebrate so we, we have these kind of um, I suppose they're just a, a monthly or, or bi-weekly thing depending on what's going on uh, where everyone gets together in the office at the end of a Thursday or a Friday it depends on who's in the office when um, and we just have a, a quick chat people will brief what they're doing in their departments and we kind of get together as a business so we celebrated the award at one of those meetings uh, yeah. and we get up and we I basically delivered the presentation to say this is why we won. Uh, these are the areas that we can focus on to, to continue getting better at what we do because you can't just sit back once you want to say, well, that's it. You know, you, you've got to really drive for, for, for better. The fact is, it works. If you provide good service, if you help customers overcome the issues they got, it works. They say great things about you. You don't have to worry about what they say about you. As I said, our focus now is on what our, our customers, customers say about them. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you for um, sharing all of that with us. And uh, we'll see you soon. Hopefully we'll see you next year. All right, Zoe. I hope so, too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.